is up my fellow gamers in today's video we got our garwood build in season two like and sub for more amazing gaming content previous two videos we went with our big damage dealers we went over our lilia build for season two we also went over our guan win build recently that was the last video for our season two we went with a little bit of different styles we're going for more damage so our main tank is going to be garwood we're going to have him up front and all he's doing is just trying to protect our back line because we went with super duper heavy hardcore attack builds for Guanwin and Lilia. So we just want this guy to be as tanky as possible and keep uh, all of our infantry troops alive, giving them healing. Main skill is gonna be, he heals lightly wounded units and then reduces all damage taken. So that's the main focus is we wanna buff our HP a lot. And that's most of the talents we're gonna be doing is trying to buff our HP as much as possible and then increase the amount of healing as well. First one we are taking is overall attack is an obvious one that we always have to take. From there, we're sacrificing speed to go with increase in defense. Then we are going to increase our HP, which is very important. This is gonna help us have more survivability, which is the name and game of this build. From there, we're gonna take the shield of stability. We gain 1% more defense and take less damage, but our march speed is reduced, which is fine. From there, we have garrison, infantry, or tank. We are going the tank route. So we're going on this right side. First one we're taking is overall defense. So we're just getting blanket more defense. I honestly wish this was HP. I understand that we do have like the HP one here, but it is only three tiers. Whereas this one is five. So I wish we could just like level this up five times for extra HP. That would be super amazing. From there, we have our three different branches. We've got speed, which we really don't care about speed. We have swift analysis. So we're gonna take less counterattack damage. And then the other one is we deal more hero skill damage. Now we're not worried about dealing hero skill damage. Tenant that we're gonna have with them isn't gonna be focused on dealing any damage. It's gonna be strictly just to annoy the opponent as much as possible, just be an annoyance. So we're gonna take this swift analysis. We take less counter attack damage. From there, we have the best one, increase our legions healing received by a percentage. Obviously, we're gonna take that because Garwood heals for his rage ability. So really very, very important skill. We're gonna get tons of extra healing from that. The other ones we have being hit with a normal attack, we have a chance to gain rage. Next one we have is the all conquering. Our legion takes less normal attack damage. This is also another viable option as well. But again, I wanna just try and heal as much as possible and have the most HP overall. From there, we have two really good options. Honestly, I don't think you could really go wrong with either one, and I think this is kind of a tough choice. Uh, we have the Unyielding Spirit. When our Legion is hit with a normal attack, we have a chance of gaining tough. We're gonna reduce the skill damage we take by 8% for five seconds. Now, the only downside to this is it's just, it's it's 10%, right? So it's, it's fairly low. Um, but you know, depending on how long the battle goes with this kind of build, we really want the battle to go on. So th this should at least trigger once or twice. It's a, it's a luck based thing, so you never know, but this one is guaranteed to go off. When our Legion goes ahead and enters battle, we immediately get an increase in our defense by a percentage 5%, which is pretty good for 10 seconds. The only downside to it is after that 10 seconds is up, then this ability pretty much is useless because it doesn't ever trigger again. It only triggers the first time you enter battle. So that's like, all right, do I wanna just get that huge push of extra defense at the beginning? Or do I wanna have the chance to constantly reduce the hero skill damage throughout the longevity of the battle? It's a really tough one to choose from, honestly. I, I you know what I mean? You really can't go wrong for either one. For me, I'm gonna go with the impenetrable defense. So that way we're gonna get that huge buff of our defense right away. Three more different choices. We've got increase our march speed, don't care about that. We have increase the defense of our legion, which is another choice. This is another solid choice to increase our defense. But I like this one better, increase the HP of our legion's unit. HP, I feel, is more important than defense. The more HP you have, 
the more chance you have for those units to survive, which is really important. So definitely going with the overall HP. And then from there, we have when your Legion is hit with a normal attack, we have a chance to gain Vigor, which increases their HP by a percentage. So you see, we're getting huge amounts of increase to our HP overall. So we're just gonna be super duper tanky infantry units. And then we're gonna be trying to constantly heal them up as well. Then from there, we have solid shield, which is gonna increase our Legion shield received by a percentage. And then we also have your Legion gains 2% more rage when their unit count is over 50% and they launch a normal attack. Now, if you're going to go with like more of a shield build, then I would say choose this. If you're choosing like a Lieutenant uh, who goes ahead and does shielding or anything like that. But I personally like this, that we gain two more rage when our unit count is over 50%, which it should be, right? Because we wanna have, the way we're building this out is we're gonna have tons of HP. So our units should really never fall below that percentage because we're just trying to stay alive as long as possible. And then whenever we launch a normal attack, which they're just gonna be launching normal attacks all the time, we're just going to keep getting that extra free rage so that way we can go ahead and trigger our heal more often and then from there we have vitality your legion receives healing when casting rage skills or we have we take less normal attack damage when our unit count is below 50. we want our unit count to be above 50 especially because it goes hand in hand with the fact that this we have to have over 50 to get those extra rages. So 100% we're going with Vitality. Whenever we cast a rage skill, we're gonna get healing. So it's kind of funny because like when we cast our rage skill to heal, we're gonna get even more healing. So you see how that kind of works out where we're just getting an insane amount of healing every time our rage skill triggers and we're gonna have tons of HP as well. Really cool build that I can't wait to try out. Stay happy, stay safe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace. Uh...